What's up, everybody? <laughs> it's your boy, Ooch. And as always, I am with the homie Kai. And of course, for the... I don't even know how many times this has been, but we are back again, once again. And I hope all y'all have been good. Hope you guys have been taking care of yourselves and whatnot. But yes, we are here for yet another uh return episode for the full power podcast kai what is up my man oh man i wish i could say a lot i really wish i could especially especially in you know today's topic today's main topic because Woo. this oh yeah <laughs> this is uh <laughs> this is a spicy one indeed but yeah as as far as as far as like what's actually been up you know couple couple life changes here and there as we've discussed i'm going through a big move soon so lots of stuff to be done but other than that it's been it's been pretty good yeah uh lots of lots of real life big boy related things for the yep. two of us actually so that's been going on for those that maybe only keep in touch with us via the podcast um i'm not even sure actually no i can definitely tell you that since the last episode um just to kind of give you a quick update i moved like across the country so i'm no longer in the tri-state area even though i feel like i am still sometimes and i am actually now in arizona so my time difference is is you know different obviously and uh weather is a lot different as far as the heat is concerned um and yeah, just, you know, been a uh, new job, new place that I'm living at, a lot more responsibilities, but I'm still trying to, you know, of course, do the whole content creator chasing that dream thing, even while being out here. Um, but of course, obviously, things, you know, kind of take priority over, you know, doing anything YouTube or Twitch related, or even this, so, but... We're back now and fully intend on, uh, of course, doing this at a regular rate again. My, my my honest intention, I would love to do this every week. So we'll, we'll see if we can at least do that much. But I'd love to. No, I'm not even going to lie. But like Kai said, he's he's literally in the midst of his own move pretty soon. So... Yeah. You know, and I, and I can tell you right now, moving does take uh, uh, quite some time, a lot of effort and money. So, you know, bear with us if, uh, you know, there's a, a few weeks that go missing or whatever. But um, we are under we are we are understanding in that, you know, even though we're not like the biggest podcast or anything like that, uh, there are those that are out there that do enjoy listening to us talk about Dragon Ball or at that at this rate anything that is at full power and you know in that respect so i still i'm i'm gonna hold you to it for the rest of eternity i still need my fuck rachel podcast real quick. <laughs> dude i you know it's crazy because i i figured after <laughs> all this time that has gone by like i low-key forgot about tower of god and but nah like rachel nah she made history one, yes <laughs> She made history being that one character that has made Kai this angry to where he's still like more than a year later holding the grudge. I'm I'm ready. It's not even a grudge. I'm just ready to talk talk my shit or just talk her shit. She no. <laughs> oh she does she really deserves like her whole like her own episode of why she should just be canceled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I I hear that, but in any case, aside from Tower of God or any other manwas out there, obviously you guys, of course, are you know here to listen to us discuss what's been going on in Dragon Ball with 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 its IP, with any of the recent news, and you know obviously since the last time you heard from us through this kind of a format. A lot has happened, and it's not just not. We're not even just talking about the manga. We actually finally got some pretty juicy things to even just bring up. Like you know, simply put, the website 
is now like the official source of where all things Dragon Ball related or, or will most likely come from first. And this and this site includes like, you know, tidbits, interviews, whatnot, news, highlights, other videos, other features and whatnot. Um, and this is I, I, I think this is also where folks can look forward to seeing preview uh, pre preview pages for the upcoming chapters. Um, and the biggest the biggest thing is the news of the next movie, which actually at the time of this recording, I believe in a, sh a few short days, they're actually going to announce or actually just not even just announce, but all out reveal the next movie for Dragon Ball Super. I'm ready. So did you did you uh, did you see any of that or ha you know, I'm sure you did. I don't have any details on it, obviously, but I know that, you know, there will be an announcement. <laughs> That's about it. Yeah, I mean, there's not there's not really any bit of detail outside. Like I said, it, it, it it's gonna have its reveal at like the Comic Con that's coming up. Um, and they yeah. and I, if I'm getting this right, they're doing like a whole hour dedicated for just talking about that film. So I'd imagine they're gonna have a trailer to show off. Okay, because we know everyone else has known, even those that are somehow under a rock have gotten an idea that yes, they have been working on something and that something obviously has been this movie it seems. We don't know if they've also been working on anime on the side as well, but we definitely know that they've been still been working on that Super Dragon Ball Heroes, which I will tell you right now, I have fell off on completely, fell off of completely. I haven't uh, watched, I think the last time I tuned into an episode of Super Dragon Ball Heroes. I believe they were straight up copying our boy. Uh, what was his name? Dude who made uh, uh, GT Goku versus uh, uh, Goku Black. Oh, you know oh Young about? Gigi. Young Gigi. They're ripping off Young Gigi, bro. They got they got uh, a <laughs> Young Gigi. <Jizzle. laughs> It's young Jizzle, dude. Super <laughs> Dragon Ball Heroes, they 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 finally dipping into the fan stuff because yeah. They but got did you see what they did with him? With uh, with what Goku and Vegeta? With Black. Oh wait, in oh in Super Dragon Ball Heroes, no. Yeah. Not what they do. You could just tell me. I didn't. I didn't see it. I just, I saw thumbnails and I was like, huh, oh. Psych. I <laughs> okay. fell off that long time ago too yeah so i mean if that's something you guys i guess want us to pay more attention to or just to check out just i guess if you, you think know. it's worth it let us know right. <laughs> let us know convince um, us yeah please convince us because listen i used to watch them for the reaction videos right but then right I, I just like they're short so it's not like they're hard to watch but dude like, like, here, I'll put it to, into you guys, per, in, per, into perspective. I show this John to Brother Ooch. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, get this shit out of my face. <laughs> he's not having it. Because he, he, I think he put it like this. He was like, this is like Mario Party. I'm like, what does that even mean? And he, and, and, and he's like, it just, it's, it's all over the place. It doesn't matter. Like. I mean, I guess you're right if if that's what you're trying to say, but it's so it's like it's it's really weird because it's almost like you don't want to see certain things happen there because if it does, the chances of it actually being like real or like I guess slim than like none. cooler being there at all. Like yeah. honestly, I'm still I'm still on my cooler train. Please. Oh, dude. Well, yeah. Well, we we could definitely get to that too, cause I'm sure, cause I mean, I guess we could start with that before we even uh, go into the chapter, right? And like this whole little recap of you know what we've missed, or not what we've missed, but what we haven't talked about on full power yet. Um, but yeah, I mean, the speculation with the movie itself is everyone's kind of really leaning towards the the big bad being cooler. What do you think? I'm praying for it. I don't like, you know, there's, there's like, 
maybe less than a handful of concepts that could be thrown around for what the next movie would be about but i've always been voting for cooler because it just it makes sense now's a good time y'all want to throw nostalgia into it to make money go for it i dare you (laughs) yeah that's a pretty safe bet if you ask me i mean i've definitely been on plenty of streams of my own and whatever videos that i've released this year where i've definitely went ahead and said like yeah it's this is this is where it would definitely make the most sense i'm you know putting all my biases aside of as much as i would love to see broly 2 <laughs> bro i'm telling you it makes it, the way the story has been going it makes way too much sense to not bring cooler in now and a lot yeah, of fans true. agree I'm, I'm they, ready. Uh, I'm ready for bro. Uh, not Broly. Actually, I'm ready for more Broly. Not gonna lie. See what you did. I'm ready for Cooler. Mm. I'm. You know, I'm always ready for Broly. Listen, whenever there's, yeah, I know, whenever I know. There's, <laughs> <laughs> there's a slight, if a slight chance that I see that I, I, you know, I'm reasonable. Okay, <laughs> like I'm. I, I don't just say like yeah, like hocus pocus, freaking abracadabra, bring my man out here, like. There's all there. There has to be some form of like, okay, th- it, it seems like a little bit more reasonable for them to possibly bring him in, you know. But I see, digress. like they, I think, I think that with this new Broly, I do think that they hocus pocus him into Super. But I just feel like with Cooler, there's no like they don't have to do any magic. Like this, the shit's already there. It's ready for them to just snatch. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, I mean, I get what you mean, but I don't, I don't think Broly was hocus pocus, cause, cause they what they did with him, I mean, they, like Toriyama was smart. He was just like, okay, well, I'll just write it in the sense that he's always been around, but you know, clearly he just hasn't been here around. You know, he's been off planet, far, far away from everyone else. And you know, just like changed cooler. up the story from the movies and whatnot. So I mean, and and Cooler pretty much kind of shares that same feat. Where if he's supposed to be the older brother of Frieza, you, that then definitely he's gonna be around. He's just you know elsewhere, obviously. Um, but yeah. So if it's not Cooler, then a lot of people have been you know speculating Yamoshi. Which if you don't know who Yamoshi is, Yamoshi is the uh the the saiyan of legend in 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 such a way where he was like the first super saiyan god or at least that's what has been told to us through very old interviews of toriyama um and they haven't done anything with that character or the name or the likeness since it's you know been the goku vegeta show for a very (laughs) long time at this point and it still is yep um whether you like it or not um and yeah if they decided to do a yamoshi film i mean i'm i'm for it i guess you know like i i feel like that kind of constitutes our want for more of the i guess lore based dragon ball stories that you know we've been dying for because we've talked about this so many times but in the past where we we feel like dragon ball is big enough to where they could treat it like a Star Wars or something like that where they can they can fo- they can have a focus on any individual character or you know whomever that that's that has had some sort of screen time or not in in the Dragon Ball universe you know like they can and you know like I would love to see like a whole arc on you know these characters that we have known to love for so long and i think that would be really cool like i would love to see a frieza origin movie like that would be od i mean yeah they have a lot to they have a lot to explain yeah so so yeah so it's it's down to cooler yamoshi um but as far as the story right now goes i feel like with everything they've been setting up, I personally would I'm leaning a little bit more towards uh 
the cooler side of things than Yamoshi and anything else. And even Broly too. Even Broly too. I'll sacrifice that. I'll put my bias aside, like I said. Um, which I guess really uh, transitions us into you know everything that's been going on. So obviously, with the last episode that we recorded here for Full Power, uh, we were talking about everything that was happening with the Moro and you know well the Moro arc pretty much, and yeah. Kai and I were essentially just predicting everything that was happening correctly and it, it was, it's 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 almost as if we put pen to paper when it came to you know this arc um with 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 simple usage of just seeing how stories in dragon ball have been and it's almost it's like a gift and a curse like being able to really detect when some bullshit is about to happen <laughs> or if something possibly potentially could be like od and as far as the the, the moral arc is concerned with with the, the most recent chapter was 74 so whatever chapter came out last september that was the last time we spoke about it so all the chapters since basically of course moral was defeated but he was defeated in a way that neither of us really saw them doing in the way that they did it and it was actually ridiculous in the in the most surprising way possible i did not think that they were gonna they were gonna go to my man oob and ask him yo can you just raise your hand real quick Nah, I really did. I really did not approve of that. That was that was wild. I was hyped. I mean, I'm not even gonna lie. Off off reaction, like off rip. I was like, "There's no way." And they had they had Goku whipping out the QB mode. Like this man has a whole Megazord Aura mode now. Like Susano from freaking Naruto. That was crazy. Didn't expect that to happen. And then, of course, Moro gets defeated and whatnot. And uh, slowly but surely, they transition into the next arc, which is this whole granola. Hold dude. up, though. Hold up, though. You know what? You know what else? I just remembered. You know what else I was not really approving of, and I still kind of am not, because hmm. this is Dragon Ball. So, like, <laughs> welcome, stay a while. But uh, <laughs> they brought they brought mirrors back. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh my God, yes. Like okay. the mm, the the one time you had, you literally had one time to make that shit shine and make it feel like you know, for once, death was really, you know, a thing that heavy. could happen. It was heavy. Yeah. yeah, it's never held any weight since you know, ever. <laughs> yeah, that's so absolutely. I don't I don't understand why they would really like rob that moment because that's the that's re that's really the first time they could have had any weight and on top of that they took it away so fast they brought him in and took him away and brought him right back mm -hmm. that they did and like you said i really thought too like i was the same way i was like damn like i felt like when miris was gonna die i was upset like i was sad because you know his to, to, to eventually see his inevitable death because it's all about getting Goku to access the next power, right? That's literally how it goes. Yep. And it happens, but then he comes back anyway. So it's like, oh, happy. Every, everyone's happy. Everyone lives. <laughs> like, there's no sacrifice. There's no true sacrifices. Yeah. So... Yeah, it's just it's just cliche Dragon Ball being itself, you know, where deaths don't really mean anything. Anybody could come back, even when they have established rules, and that's that's why we were not with it a hundred percent. Because I don't understand why they're gonna write something a certain way, but then there's there's no real like the payoff is not there, like. And, and this is a great transition into something else that leads up to the things that are happening right now with, with the current chapters. It's the whole, like, Ultra Instinct thing now. Where now there's literally, there's levels to this shit. And I'm like, are you serious? Like, this is supposed... And, and, and I've said this. 
I have said this. The problem with introducing a form where it seems like it should be the be all end all so soon, like if because because think about it, like Dragon Ball is here to stay. Like they're not gonna stop it anytime soon. Like th this is gonna be going on for a long time. Like again, and you know the fact that they have like a whole division now. They got they got space dedicated just to produce Dragon Ball related content. It ain't going nowhere anytime right. soon, you know. So. The fact that they introduced Ultra Instinct already, like this is not the form they should have introduced to us like years ago. They should have just did something else and, you know, rocked with that because the nature of how this franchise works is like every arc, there's going to be a new villain. There's going to be a new threat, there's a new somebody that's going to try to outdo the the, the main characters, aka Goku and Vegeta. And because of that, there's always a phase that they go through where they're not strong enough or they need to get stronger or something is explained to them where there's more to it. So right when we think that's it, there's always going to be something else. So if you guys are still, if you, if you guys are following or you're not following, well, here's what I'm referring to. Like I said, there's levels to Ultra Instinct now. There was a conversation between Whis and Goku where they're training and whatnot, the usual, and Whis explains it very simply. And it's the, the it's the simplicity that is just like, dude, why are they why are they doing this? <laughs> like, he explained this saying that like, yeah, like angels are basically always in the ultra instinct state. But there are certain levels of ultra instinct, like my Ultra Instinct is not as strong as my dad's. And I'm just like, alrighty then. Well, now Goku has levels to strive for. So I wouldn't be surprised if we had Ultra Instinct 2, Ultra Instinct 3. Nah, they gotta, you know what I'm they saying? Gotta, like, they got to do it old school like Frieza. They got to be like ultra uh what was it perfected ultra instinct 10 percent, 100 percent. like <laughs> oh my god no 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 see i don't I, I don't want them to do the percents because <laughs> if they, if, because if they do the percents then you know we're gonna have people arguing out here oh like so mathematically like does that even make sense like is what is ultra instinct it is everything and it is see, nothing it is literally bruce lee you you should not nobody should take mathematics into dragon ball power level scaling ever never like never that's do that it. to yourself you just shouldn't like there's there's nothing that's gonna add up properly the moment you try to introduce like a new form or a perfect example a new series like everything you know everything in z made sense until they they hit us with a actually Yeah, so, so the last thing I want to say about that is, and this is this is this is a big pill to swallow for I'm sure a lot of people, but Ultra Instinct is the new Kaioken, guys. I hate to say it, I hate to be that guy, but call a spade it a really, spade. It really is because he just now see. I feel like now the debate between it being a form and a technique is officially closed. I feel You're like right. it is definitely a technique. He is officially putting it on top of blue and whatever other fucking color he may choose that day. But it is now just something he toggles like a switch. Yep. Yep. Exactly. It's, and that it's was crazy. the one thing. I don't know if you recall, but that was literally the one thing that Uchi was saying years ago that he hopes doesn't happen to this form. Welcome to Dragon Ball. How can I how can I assist in your pain today? It's literally how it goes. I'm glad you quoted me because it was. I, did say I remember that. you and I were talking about that for a while. You were like, "Dude, this is amazing! Like the design was perfect. the The idea behind it was perfect. You know, like clearing your mind, everything, Bruce Lee shit. Like it was, it was definitely the be all end all. And we hoped it did not turn into Kyle Ken. And here we are talking about how that's exactly what happened. Mm hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's it. It really sucks because. You hate to see something you love get written into a corner like this 
and then to see them try to kind of write themselves out of the corner but realize that this corner is is so like there's no escape there's no escape like it is it is how it is now and like they there ain't nothing that they could do about it you know because it would take it it would take them it, i feel like they're afraid you know i think that's what it is i think that they're afraid i want to say they i mean anybody involved with the decisions behind where the store is going to go next right i think they're truly afraid of their other like of, of putting all of their focus in other fucking characters let me be a hundred percent real because they have they have pushed goku and now vegeta way too much and so hard to where it's like anybody else that steps up and tries to you know fuck some shit up do some evil things or just be the strongest or whatever the case is it's like if you don't have goku and vegeta there then there's no hope and that is a problem and that's been a problem because i would like to now make a little wrestling analogy okay you can have an amazing production you can have an amazing uh roster right you can have all these really cool characters personalities and whatnot but if you're constantly pushing the same few people and they're always the ones holding the belts and they're always the one with the most screen time and whatnot it's literally gonna make your audience kind of forget or not care about everybody else however if you do it in such a way where you're giving all these other characters their own kind of time to shine to flesh out whatever they might have or work on you at least get people invested in these characters they need i'm gonna go back to when we were talking about what needs to happen with dragon ball they, they like goku and vegeta need to be teachers they need to not get involved no more and if they're on the on that path where goku ends up you know being an angel or vegeta straight up just becomes the next god of destruction yo that needs to happen and needs to happen quick because like as much as i love them as much as i respect them i'm not here to just just see them and that's it like the one thing i love about naruto is that even despite the show being called the main character's name the the thing that i loved about it is that there's so many other characters that got mad time on screen that had their own little arcs sometimes you forget you was watching a show called naruto because they had focus on sasuke that focus on shikamaru focus on rock lee gara like neji like the hugas they had they have focus for mad people and yes obviously because it was called naruto and he of course had more fo like focus and attention than everyone else i mean the show's literally named after him like i still have that feeling over dragon ball where it's just like they have made these dudes so strong and these dudes as in goku and vegeta where it's just like they can have another tournament of power right now okay and for all we know everyone else that hasn't been doing anything that we've seen on screen is going to be at the same level of strength that we last saw them at the last tournament of power and then it's like and that and then if you if you, and if this is the run back how do like the pride troopers dude i'm sure they're gonna be like five times ten times as strong jiren too this oh dude i don't even want to know how strong jiren is i don't even want to know because think about it man's had man's lost only because he had true he got triple teamed and there was ring outs people don't realize that people forget that and that's real that's true and he fought he did fight mastered more than once <laughs> right they had to they had to freaking get the 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 team up of a lifetime freaking frieza and goku and then the mvp of the entire thing android 17 bro like like 
people forget Jiren literally stared him down in the face and was like, go ahead, throw the rainbow at me. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> throw the rainbow at me. Skittles, bitch. Right. So, that's it. Yeah, so, so now, I guess we could talk about the latest chapter. Because, well... The other things leading up to what's going on right now, Granola, right? He's like the other, uh, he's like the other starring character in this arc. He is a Cerulean from the planet Serial. Oh, I can't. These <laughs> names, like it hurts so much. When I when I read that for the first time and I saw <laughs> Granola and his little his little freaking dead eye patch oatmeal, I was like, you know, yes. I'm gonna just check out. <laughs> I laughed. I'm not gonna lie, cause I'm. It's very. It's 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 Dragon Ball, you know. Toriyama likes his food based things, <laughs> you know. It's literally yeah, how, like. How did just you? How did you pronounce that race? The Cerulians. The Cerulians. Okay. Or is it Cerulean? That's, I don't know. Cerulean. Cerulean. Sure. Yeah. It it hurts all the same. Listen. I, I'm just hoping that eventually we get like Tony the Tiger character, <laughs> literally Yo. called, literally called Tony with, and they spell it T O N I, <laughs> to avoid copyright. And oh the way he God. powers up is he just goes, great. <laughs> That's no. I'm telling you, bro. Listen, I don't think they would get. I don't. I don't know if they would even bother trying to sue because. Oh, that would get more people to buy that cereal anyway. Because everybody would know where Toriyama got that from. But anyway, right? So we got this dude, Granola. He's from the planet Cereal. Of course. Waiting for waffles to intervene. Yo. <laughs> I hope, dude. See, you're just you're just adding more to the fire because <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. Like sometimes, even with with all of the food items that they have in the story overall, I tend to forget like what other things that they could possibly do. But realistically, dude, they got mad. They got pan, things. but they never brought in pancakes. Pancakes is gonna happen. No, there's gonna be cakes. There's gonna be a character called cakes. cakes. You watch. Yeah, you're right. There's cakes gonna be and a waffles. Character called cakes. Um, but yeah, so here we go. So we got, we got our boy Granola and he comes from the planet Serial. And then basically how does he all, how does he connect with the Saiyans and everything that's going on? Well, of course his planet was, was one of the planets that got messed up and by, by Saiyans, you know, of course, way back in the day and his whole Existent, his whole purpose in life is to seek revenge out on the Saiyans and on Frieza. So he holds this grudge and amongst these chapters, which I have been enjoying very much, I will admit. And of course, more lore uh, being added to the overall story, which I also enjoy. Um, one of which being that we learned that as long as a Namekian inhabited another planet, that planet will have Dragon Balls. And, right, right? A and that uh, it also doesn't necessarily mean that they're just gonna have seven. Depending- Yeah, that was a plot twist. Right? Dude, I thought that was really cool. I'm not even gonna lie. That was, that was one of the things that I was just like, yo, like that's so cool. However, so here's the catch. Now, for Granola's sake, his planet only had two. Yeah, so imagine- His dragon ain't got enough balls to give him the power without <laughs> cutting his lifespan. Right, right. So with this, with, with, with this uh, new ruling now, depending on how many dragon balls the planet has, uh, depend, well, that will dictate how uh like well the it will yeah it'll dictate basically the depth of the wish so there's a lot more that this dragon cannot grant in that respect if that makes sense so initially when he of course and ine inevitably found the two dragon balls that he needed he wished 
he I, I what ha, what did he wish for he wished for the to to be like the strongest in the universe right yes okay so he wished for the he wished to be the strongest in the universe but it came with a catch in order for him to do that he essentially they pulled a death note and he said we're gonna cut your lifespan and even even with that granola still was like fuck it i'll take it i i i need i need to achieve what i need to achieve i need right. to i need to get my goals done and boom he got it done and now here we are granola is fighting goku and vegeta except you know as a dragon ball fashion will have it goku of course gets the first dibs gets well actually actually vegeta offered oh yeah yeah, yeah. okay yeah you're right you're right i, I forgot about he, that he looked at the situation he was like nah you got it <laughs> yeah he was he was all vegeta was also uh being very uh decisive like he was he was being very observant is the best way i should put it because he was like reading the situation like you said he was like you know he was taking in the things that uh granola was constantly saying and he picked up on it really really quick and even goku he was like dude i don't i don't i i i think you got you got the wrong guys like we're we're not bad like and vegeta definitely picked up on it because as soon as they you know they were fighting and they were fighting within the same vicinity as the the, the last town i guess that got messed up bad by uh the great apes way back in the day vegeta put vegeta put it all together snip snap he literally the, the light the the light bulb went off and he was like oh <laughs> he literally had one of those oh that's why he's mad at us <laughs> like that's literally how it was you know what's so, crazy though like instead yeah. of like goku goku tried to defuse the situation obviously but he's trash at it mm -hmm. and vegeta just fueled the fire he did like this last chapter like all he did like he tried i can't even i can't even wholeheartedly say that he tried you know he he did bring <laughs> up the fact that, like hey you know we're telling the truth but i'm not gonna sit here and try to convince you if you want to come at me come at me but he really started you know like talking his shit for absolutely no reason getting you know getting granola all mashed up right yep so that was a really uh it was it was an interesting conversation granola was really given the hands to vegeta by the way man i was just like the geez. fingertips he dude he got so much offense on vegeta i was like but he got vegeta swimming beat. that's how it goes yeah always yeah it's very true so in in very uh dragon ball fashion by the end of the chapter even and, and the funny part is right vegeta gets hit out of his like uh blue form i you would imagine he was in super saiyan blue or at least blue gatorade diamond which oh my god here we whatever. go right <laughs> um but yeah uh you would figure he was in that he gets he gets he gets knocked down a couple well every peg because he went he he and granola knocked him down to base for him and then he hits us with the ah, and i was like oh here we go dun, dun, dun. freaking uh. keeping the kelpie song <laughs> hits all right and and then he yo i i really hope that they, they color like the i want to the i want to know what the official colors are because his aura was looking fire in in the in the chapters you know you know he went like top trending on twitter or some shit like when that new form revealed everybody mm -hmm. was all about vegeta like dragon ball still breaks the charts yeah absolutely even if it even if it is cookie cutter everybody loves their cookies you know right so you know this man oatmeal cookies <laughs> The <laughs> <laughs> oh cookies that could be that could be a whole other species bro they're gonna have a character called oreo you know what, son you know what's oh and oh and filling <laughs> yeah. you know what though you know what think about it for a second can you find anyone in the whole franchise named after like meat 
like we have cereal we have vegetables we have fruit which is like Frieza's gang you've got you know colds and shit like that but where where are the meats there's no meats mm. you know you're right i think they yeah because i would have expected to he- see a character like tonkatsu or something like that i mean maybe there maybe there is but we just it just kind of like slipped under the rug here but i i don't i can't think of any off the top of my head but yeah that's a good point it's a very um, healthy show <laughs> very healthy <laughs> um but yeah so so vegeta so again vegeta talk of the town now got brand new form and i think I personally think that the color of it is black. Like he's gonna keep his black hair, like the at least the color, you know. Just have like like that evil like dark purple aura. Well, yeah, maybe. Yeah, that that's actually a good like a- like Goku black before he had any transformations. The way he should have stayed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, possibly. I mean, cause I'm think I'm trying to think like. You know what would make the most sense tying into what others are saying online right where this is kind of like of course where i've been waiting to talk to you about this is that this could be like his omen form right like this is just like the preliminary form before he like gets to whatever but people i will say that's uh that's a decent um, I guess that's a, that's a decent prediction speculation if you want, if you will, but I'm sure a lot of y'all didn't real, don't realize like you're trying to make a direct comparison to how Goku's ultra instinct works. And this is no ultra instinct. This is literally like a God of destruction type thing, which it could very well be similar, you know, not to take anything away from anything, but also the other thing, which, uh, Kai is showing me now, which I have seen. There, people are trying to say that his hair is purple. That would be sick. Yes. So I'm not, I'm not fucking with the whole. Oh, we never gave him Super Saiyan three. So here, here you go. We gonna shave your eyebrows. But okay. So and that's the, that's the other thing that I wanted to point out. So I said in my video that I wasn't a fan of how he initially looked, and. I, I, I kind of don't like how they're going to give him the Super Saiyan 3 eyebrows because... They, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Because to, to me, it's like, I just feel like even though there's definitely no point in him ever going Super Saiyan 3, this just all together just like, unless you watch the Super Dragon Ball Heroes, you're definitely not going to see it. Even though, there, like I said, there's no need for it. Because clearly they have stronger levels, but you know, I mean, look, Goku every now and then freaking pops it just to show it, just to flex. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. still one of my favorite forms to this day, to this day. Okay, but with Vegeta, and oh, I, I will give a shout out to our boy Geekdom. Right, he he uh, pointed this out, and if you go back and watch the episode where Goku goes Super Saiyan three for the first time. And you see that random, like, like the the transformation states when he was in the middle of screaming, and they show Goku going from like a baby with a tail, like all the way to where he's like supposed to be, and like you see like the um, the the instances, like the in between phases of like his hair, like getting like puffed out, longer, spikier, and whatnot. Someone literally freeze or uh, froze frame the uh like the right before phase and they were like that's what vegeta has right there boom yeah exactly they did that with the hair and the eyebrows right they gave him that little in between and they gave him the body of super vegeta that yeah you know what does kind of look like that doesn't it yeah he's got he's got hella muscles on him right now and like that's that's vegeta's you know like ultra instinct you know what i mean like his personal like level of like higher than god status if you will but you got to think about how different that shit is right like you know (sighs) goku got his shit from the angels and even before then just super saiyan god they made him really really thin 
and you know really quick and slick because that's how he is vegeta no they gave him this brute super vegeta shit back they made him look tough yep i guess they want to really emphasize the whole like destruction portion of it you know because oh oh destruction sorry you triggered me destruction <laughs> two yeah. things i want to point out one one good one bad let's start with the good right one thing okay. i will absolutely not sleep on is the fact that they gave us you know th this is this is why i keep reading the extra chapters because like right now i'm not too happy with where they've been taking the story and stuff like that i think it's getting a little dry it's getting a little cookie cutter all that right but yeah. i do like the extra lore for obvious reasons and you know what i will not sleep on the fact that they introduced Beerus's, you know, like gold plated earring thing as, you know, a symbol of those who can use destruction. He tossed that at Vegeta like it was a Patara and I just, I lost it. I was like, that is fire. That is, that was fire. Absolutely. I agree. So I, I absolutely love that. So I wanted to, I wanted to bring that up because I thought that was a top tier decision and just design choice. I don't know. I just really, I really liked it. Beerus, you know, Beerus's bling has a little more purpose. And when you mm. peep like all the other gods of destruction, they did actually have that earring. And like I never, I never saw it coming. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. So I, I thought didn't see that, that coming really cool. either. Um, one thing I did see coming is <laughs> I always made this statement in other um, FPP episodes. Uh, how any <laughs> anything Goku can do, Vegeta can do three months later. Well, <laughs> Vegeta has destruction, right? Did Goku not use that shit on Zamasu? yeah he yeah without the earring without the transformation well he tried he i mean maybe he didn't finish because he got baited but he did it he was erasing him listen you know he was I'm erasing zamasu man, Goku, bro he, he was erasing zamasu and zamasu grabbed i forgot who it was but he grabbed like someone through the portal and like threatened you know like that both of them were gonna die and he stopped man that is uh so yeah this yeah. still holds true to that statement and i was just like man like even granola this last episode hit him with he was like oh your destruction's weak sauce look at this pop <laughs> yeah so i mean i don't know that's uh that's really true great points the one thing i wanted to talk about with this as well was that the last line that he says, he says, a god of destruction taught me that power derived solely from instinct is unbounded. So what do you what do you take from that when you read that? I thought that was a very interesting quote. I mean, it, it is it's a Beerus quote, you know, but I don't I really don't know what to think of it, because the fact that they use the word instinct of all, you know, of all adjectives like instinct we know beerus has been trying to get ui for a minute that's that's been where his training's been going so how do you take that to a destruction level well i'm not sure because see when i well, the way I understood it initially just off the chapter, like like when I first finished reading it, um, I was more along the lines of like, I felt like because they used the words instinct and unbounded, like I, I at first I thought it was like kind of like a nod towards what they could be also building which is primal instinct because i'm i've been all about this primal instinct like i really hope that that happens and aka for those that don't know what i'm talking about primal instinct in my in my whole theorizing head space is what will end up being our legitimate super saiyan 4 because you know it's like the word primal obviously comes from like you know the apes they're monkeys they have a lot of latent power and more power when they are in their great ape states but clearly we saw somebody tap into that great ape power while keeping their human or saiyan 
uh type bodies um and 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 that just kind of opens up a lot of eyes and the floodgates of possibility just because just like well imagine if man still had his tail while doing that like he would have forced into it which i mean i'm pretty sure he would that's how you act as Saiyan for done right like that is that was our first tease broly was the one that did it right so yeah. i thought that vegeta was kind of alluding to that that's what i first thought right but now i'm here with you we're talking about it now full power podcast i think that this might actually be almost like a not ma- not in a taunting way but almost like a direct like statement towards ultra instinct itself because if you take what he says literally he says the power derived that that power derived solely from instinct is unbounded meaning that if if the power if the source of power is only coming from your instincts then that means that you know there there's no limit to it you know what i'm saying yeah so i don't know like it it's a little it, it can be i'm sure it can be taken in other ways it can be pretty it can be kind of confusing in a sense as well but it's like you almost have to question like even with this power up right is he still not as strong as goku is he is he still underneath ultra instinct because like the way I'm understanding it, and at least the way that the story itself has been trying to teach us, or, you know, whatever, is that angels are always above the gods of destruction. Like, they are, they are, they are straight up stronger than the gods of destruction. Like, that's, like, the tier, right? Like, it yeah, goes... Yeah, they have a hierarchy. Exactly, exactly. There's a hierarchy to it. There's the gods of destruction, then the angels, and then Weez's dad. <laughs> and then and then Zenosama, right? He is the strongest. Like there's no one above Zenosama. Like that is basically God right there. And so with this, I mean, yeah, like Goku is using Ultra Instinct as freaking new Kaioken, sure but it's still a source a power source a technique whatever the hell you want to uh file it as it it is something that he's using currently in the present day that is helping him attain new levels of strength and power and whatnot overall he is more powerful done deal now vegeta is now going towards the god of destruction end of things which is i you know obviously more suiting for his kind of character but because of just how the hierarchy works doesn't that just automatically make his shit not as good i want to say no you want to say no but... i want to say i want no nah, i'm i'm gonna stick with it i'm i'm gonna say no for now until until we're able to be proven otherwise i'm gonna say no because beerus often likes to say that before creation comes destruction mm. and that creation you know we have you know we have the hakaishans we have the kaioshans and then you know we have the angels that are watching over to make sure that the gods of destruction don't get out of line right yep so they're still able to i feel like they have they have the the most destructive power duh but at the same time like if every angel isn't as potent as their dad who can actually take on a like a raw dog 100 percent hakai hmm because in theory, you'd have to be stronger. Like, you know, there's there's all these different types of things that they throw into it. And I just feel like as far as the power is concerned, I feel like it's just the status that makes them better. Because okay. ever since ever since they officially turned UI into something that's like, oh, there's levels to this shit. I was like, man. I knew they were going there. I yeah, just knew. that's true. You knew they because were think- going there the moment they 
I mean, some people knew they were going there the moment um, the hair was white. You know what I mean? That was a red flag. Like, white hair being taught by the angels. All the angels have white hair. Like, mm. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> they, like, I, I would feel bad for whoever would be on the opposing side of an angel actually throwing hands. Because, listen, if they're always in Ultra Instinct, right? Like, that's cool and dandy. But it's just like... What happens when you piss them off and then they, and then they, and then they power up, like? Well, th like think about it. That's that's another good point, right? Like they're always an ultra instinct, so that's that's why they're better. Is because like you want to put the two powers together, like UI versus destruction. Then oh well, UI is better. Well, is it though? Because if all the angels are already there, and then you have you know a god of destruction like Beerus trying to learn that on top of what he knows, what are you gonna do then? Yeah, because. The one thing that I don't like, like the, the, this way of thinking that I'm about to say right now, I, I don't like because it's just way too like simple, right? Is like the, the gods of destruction, they are known to be like, you know, very strong and whatnot. But what are they known for? The Hakai, right? They are known right. for that destruction. And a lot of times people just assume that, okay, well, from what we've seen at least, which I guess is a safe assumption, but they will automatically go and say, well, well, if they get hit with a Kai, it's over, you know? And I'm just like, and that's whack because like, sure, if they need to destroy for the purpose of destroying to repurpose, to rebuild and whatever, like that's their job. They go from planet to planet or whatever. And if they're not, you know, they're not holding their own after however many million years, they're just still barbarians and, just not really doing anything for anybody then they're you know they're just gonna wipe them but like in in the use like in the in the use of a fight right like i feel like if vegeta was to be like okay the only way i could beat this dude is if i hakai his ass right then it becomes how like it becomes a battle of how can i sustain him to 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 take this attack to take this technique because it's it's honestly it's just it's just a really weird thing to even imagine because in my head goku in his ultra instinct state is is free flowing all natural he just goes with the flow he is the water he is the cup you know he is all that crap so like in my like thinking of it in that way he is able to dodge anything and everything so just off that vegeta's not hitting it with no hakai right i don't think he will ever have the opportunity unless goku literally let him do it which i don't see happening unless we got some goku black 2 head ass shit and Goku was like, this is the only way you must Hakai me and boom, like that's like the only and I don't think that's going to happen. So that's why I like asked the question like, is, the, you know, is like are, are, are the angel states, you know, ultra instinct, like are they just always supposed to just be by default, like stronger in theory because of the hierarchy? I believe yes, but like. You know, as far as the raw damage and shit that Vegeta will potentially do in the, in this new state or however many other additional forms that he might get from this, then sure, like it might he, he might make it look mad destructive because that's, you know, it lives up to the name. But, you know, outside of that, there's a reason why the angels are above the, the gods of destruction and even with all their destruction, the angels literally have every bit of power to silence all that shit. Done well, deal. What would they do if, you know, a destruction god, a destroyer god just tapped into Ultra Instinct? You know, it could, if, if it becomes more potent than theirs, then the hierarchy is busted. Well, yeah, because at that rate, see, at that rate, I just feel like the whole there's no balance at that point because like Goku went the the he went the 
um, Ultra Instinct route. He, he followed down that path. Now, the way they write it is as if, like, you know, they, they straight up have Goku saying lines like, why would I ever want to be a god of destruction? All you do is sit around and sleep all day, right? Which is which was funny, and I loved it. That's a very Goku thing to say. And, you know, it, it, it honestly, you know, definitely begs the question, like, what would prevent someone from trying to do both, you know? And, you know, if, if, if Vegeta were to ever do that, that would be ridiculous. Because then it's just like, well, for him, I would still understand it in the same, like, hierarchy, like, in, in the levels type shit. Where it's just like, okay, you have... Like, I wish I could I have a chart. Like, we gotta... Eventually, we have to freaking do... Uh, we gotta bring back video screens to, to show our reactions and shit to us talking about all this crap. But, <laughs> like... There is, there is, there is, there is like a, a, an imaginary chart that I'm drawing for you guys right now, where as far as all the transformations go, the power ups are within this chart. At the bottom are like Super Saiyan one, two, three, right? And then there's some space above three. And then what's above three? Well, of course, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue after that. And then there's some more space. Okay, and I and the reason why I'm saying there's more space, I'll I'll get to it. But after that, then there's the um there's there's Ultra Instinct, right? Which is like higher up, like way higher, right? And then below, between of course some obvious space, is this God of Destruction shit that Vegeta's doing now. So the weird part is, and I and I even I missed saying Kaioken on purpose, because Kaioken is just a power booster, right? Ultra Instinct is basically a power booster, but that shit is so strong that you know you would <laughs> you would almost just assume it to just be another another power up altogether because. You know, just like how we've seen Kaioken used without Super Saiyan, we are now, or we have seen Ultra Instinct. That's how it was introduced. We saw Ultra Instinct as its own thing, which one would assume this is, you know, the next power up type thing or whatever. So I guess what I'm trying to get at, right, is like technically, sure, at, like let's say Vegeta started chilling out. And he was less like aggressive and he and he and he literally found some tranquility within him sure he has every right to be able to tap into that shit it's not about like i don't even really think it's about paths really it's just it's just are you able to check off the boxes can, do you can you fill in these fields you know and if you do, then sure, you have you now have access and the potential to reach or access such uh, an ability. Go the same with Goku. If he he's all about his calm shit, I'm sure if he wanted to. Because here's another thing. You can even ignore all the shit that I just said, as long as it's all about monkey see monkey do, bro. Oh boy. It all comes back to that telling you and you know what you know what else is monkey see monkey do vegeta's entire time on yard rat he went out here you know learning about spirit control and healing and not doing instant transmission and you know all this other stuff but what he gonna be the first god of destruction to heal <laughs> I you mean, know what i mean yeah yeah, that's it's, weird. He did, he had that. Oh, and the, oh, he has the spirit vision too. I forgot about that. Yeah. He so he's got I feel like he's got these very contradicting abilities and I want to see what they do to try to hold it all together in, you know, this new character. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it's funny because correct me if I'm wrong, but like shouldn't he be able to just take granola's energy like right now 
instance, like that's what he's able to do. If I'm even understanding his ability right with the whole uh, spirit vision. Well, considering how cookie cutter everything is, I'm going to say that we don't know if it can be used on stronger opponents. And technically, Granola is, you know, the strongest in the universe, I guess, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Right. So who knows? So where do you where do you see this going as far as like next chapter? Because, of course, this is a monthly so there ain't there ain't gonna be nothing as far as maybe other people's speculation in regards to this and whatever um until the next time we do discuss that 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 you know chapter 75 so where do you what, what are your predictions um i see one of two things happening obviously vegeta's gonna swing and get some hits in and then either a he's gonna get his ass beat down like always or b they could let the man shine for just once and granola will have to retreat back to cereal bowl and <laughs> you know maybe maybe obi will do something about it because whatever he got going on in his eyeglass there is clearly a friend watching over either from a distance or like technologically inside that thing but there's definitely another person going on there so i feel like either like someone's going down someone's going down whether it's vegeta or whether you know like i said granola is gonna have to retreat but this is this is not over the whole thing this whole thing is about frieza and we have not seen him once facts they keep name dropping this freaking guy to the point where you would have thought that he made an appearance already yeah and he hasn't nope you know why because he's visiting cooler thank you facts tell him oh oh yo and here oh here okay so now what you just did right you you unlocked another hidden thought that i didn't know i had right <laughs> this, yo, why we always do this it's because it's how it goes right full power out of control listen <laughs> when when this announcement happens right for the movie Let's say it is cooler, and obviously they, they show him off, they show the trailer, da da da. It takes place at, a, at at this point in time, where there's a story, right? What would be sick is if in the manga that's in current time, we see Frieza, he's coming through, and 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 like it's almost as if, like and and he and he literally says like, oh yeah, like. I was just visiting my brother or some shit like that. They, like they have a direct reference to Cooler. They, nah, he could he could just he gotta be like incognito as hell. He'd just be like, oh, I was just out on a family visit. Oh, yo, that's all I need to say. Family right. visit, and it's it's a hundred percent confirmed. Like, oh my god, that'd be crazy. I'm waiting. I'm patiently waiting. Yeah, dude. But yeah, isn't that, that isn't that crazy? Like this whole thing, it's all about Frieza. Man's just gone. Now enjoying himself. <laughs> yeah, like I'm wondering though because is see, there's that character on the heaters on the heater side of things. I forget his name, but he was the one dude that they didn't let fight early like in oh, earlier the, chapters the one with the the one with the locks yes the one that gas? looks like another kid boo wasn't it gas i think it was maybe it was gas okay so they they purposefully did not let this man fight because i feel like he's gonna end up being like the true like person they fight at the end for some reason, I just find it hard to believe that... Free yes, I, I know Freeze is going to come in. At some point, Freeze is going to make an appearance, whatever. I just don't believe that he's going to be who they fight at the end of this arc. That's interesting. Yeah, because... I don't know, like, I just... I honestly... Because like, like, I, I, I just feel like it's, it's too soon. You know, if they were to actually revisit... And give this man another freaking rematch or another fight at, at all because i mean sure i mean and one on one on one side of it you can see it in the sense like well 
it kind of feels like it is setting up towards you know frieza being like that that last fight because i'd imagine seeing granola vegeta and goku finally fighting alongside each other against frieza possibly whoever he might have with him if he does and them like destroying killing him off again for like the zillionth time and like granola being like oh well my lesson the lesson learned here is that you know saiyans are not the same and they're not all like savage killers and and shit because you know clearly you two are not like that or whatever like that i could definitely see something like that happening on the other side of things I could see it being where like Frieza maybe makes an appearance and you know he dips out because again remember before this arc and before Moro Frieza was getting bopped by Broly and then before that Frieza was directly involved with the tournament of power so like that's why I just feel like it's a little too soon to give to have this man get reinvolved and then just like lose again or die again or whatever. Yeah. So yeah, like that that's where I'm at. Like that's why I feel like they're gonna they're gonna swerve us and they're gonna give us that character that was that they 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 held back from fighting earlier on. And he's gonna be the real threat. Also, maybe we'll see that other guy, like the the leader of that gang. I forget his name too. But it he's was... you know there was like gas and oil i was i was just done yeah but yeah i mean like that's what it sounds that's what it seems like you know it's like that dude and for some reason that dude gives me cell vibes like the guy that's like in charge yeah he gives me cell vibes so i'm just like uh i, I want to i want to hear this guy get voiced and sounds like he's perfect like i i just <laughs> i don't want to i want to hear that shit but um those are that's my predictions i i i with you know kind of like the long-term book in here as far as like directly next chapter i feel like vegeta's clearly going to show off this new form as best as he can but we cannot forget that granola is you know the strongest in the universe so technically he should just be able to handle vegeta just fine so i don't know we'll see we will definitely have to see i feel like goku he already started waking up in this chapter, so we might see him some more. We might get an interference of some sort. So maybe I'm hoping that next chapter, since these chapters are like 45 pages each, I, I hope that by the next chapter, Granola truly believes them and learns like, you know, what actually has been going on the last like 40 something years or whatever, and how the Saiyans are all done. And there's no one that's like that no more. And we're just trying to live peacefully on Earth type stuff. And so on and so forth. That's what I kind of hope. Uh, that's what I kind of hope what happens uh, with that. I'm just waiting for Granola to pull another Itachi and be like, hm, this isn't my real body either. <laughs> yeah, so... Those are all the things that we're looking forward to. Like I said, guys, uh, we're going to do our best to try to do this weekly. And uh, by the next episode, we will definitely be talking all about what this new movie is going to be. Um, and then whatever any other news related or newsworthy topics, make sure. Uh, first and foremost, that you guys are leaving in your comments, suggestions. You guys trying to see a video version of this as far as like, you know, seeing us on camera. Um, you know, like we once did before, except obviously it'll be like through Discord or whatever. Um, let us know. We'll get it happening. I was also thinking about just making a full power podcast YouTube channel separate from my main account. But again, that's entirely up to you guys. If that's what you would maybe want to see happen. If not, whatever, I'll just stay leaving it don't matter um Kai any last words from you uh no I think I uh, I think I got everything out already alright solid well you guys know where to find us all the social medias will be in the description wherever you guys might have been listening to this whether it's the Spotify version the Apple version or 
whatever version that you guys are listening to, I definitely uh, want to say thank you guys for continuing to listen to the Full Power Podcast. It's been your boy Ooze, the homie Kai. We are out. We'll see you guys next.